Good evening, good evening, greetings and salutations. Things have remained very quiet. The wine has been selling really well. I've just got 115 silver from it, so yay. <laughs> Thank you, Redfoot. You're always a good customer. Likewise, the uh, mead and the weed have been selling very well. I've just been going through and replacing most of the chairs and getting better quality ones. Aha, eggs. That's a normal thing. Damn it, Reginald. There we go. I'm trying to use up some of these odds and ends of uh, leather while keeping everything relatively the same. I did a bit of a moving around here. Sooner or later, I need to change this out and put some uh, chairs in so that poker ta table can actually be used. I hope that doesn't get turned into a rec room. No, still dormitory. Very good, very good. Hmm. What can I actually afford to make? That irks me that it's not in the middle. I could make it out of wood. Kind of like nice, comfortable chairs, since these are people lounging. I could go for sitting cushion. It's much less. I mean, have a look. Sitting cushion. Comfort 0.5. And then move on. Normal furniture. How about the armchair? Oh, that's way more. But it is like three times the cost at the very least. Four times, in fact. Uh, now, materials. I've only got enough for three plain leather chairs. I could do two of one thing and two of another. I could also use light leather. I'm gaining plenty of that. I am not getting as much guinea pig fur as I thought I would. I have basically culled my freshly born guinea pigs. That, that sounds a little grim, but I was getting too many. That's the point. I've also gained a new alpaca. It's another female. It's a baby. Actually, how old do alpacas grow to? Eh, 15. It's fine. It's fine. Have I actually been getting any uh, eggs from you? I must have been. I've never noticed them if I have. I bet they get cooked immediately, though. The milk's coming in thick and fast, which is nice. Actually, I've wanted to start breeding the cows, so I should start culling the alpacas slowly. So, yeah, alpaca 2, you're on the chop. Okay. You're on the chop later when I've actually got room past the muffalo. Uh, yeah, I've finally culled my self tame buffalo as well. Food wise, I seem to have both more than enough, but never enough. I'm going through a lot of food every day now. Thinking about it, I should put that up to 80. There we go, that, that should do it. I never seem to have enough fine soup. Am I, am I out of all... I'm out of damn meat already, damn it. I keep just running out of meat. And unfortunately, you can't make most of the better meals with a ver variety of veggies, which is a little bit of a shame. It would be quite good if you could do that. I wonder if there's a way of making, like, simph meat, like tofu or something. I'm sure there is. I don't know if I've got the uh, mods installed for it, but... Actually, rather than wasting that, let's go like that. Oh, gods. Yeah, that works. It's a little cr more cramped than I like, so... Three for each of them and one for a guest. Got a little pottery in the corner. So, over here... I mean, even the wildlife's been pretty tame. I've just got this timber wolf roaming around. It's taking out wild alpacas. And if, uh, for a while, I actually had it going, no, you've not got enough things for your people to do. So I've been slowly finishing off the flooring. Oh, God, that's so much floor. However, that should give me a nice firewall. Nothing should burn past that. Maybe the this might burn. Zero. Yeah, yeah. 
I should not have any problems with wildfires spreading across here. Still got a bit of a problem with getting pressed through the granite, because I'm pretty certain I've seen granite burn. Is this zero? But... I think you can take damage from fires next I'm not entirely certain. I've seen people smash it and try and set it on fire. Though that might be the um, things in the wall burning. I honestly don't know. But yes, life continues on in the rim. And even this flash storm's been pretty mild. Oh yes, yeah, so and we've got more visitors from our local fishing village. I'm really enjoying them, but uh, having... To yeah, so having them come here, because they're usually uh, quite good. They've not really done anything, because I think their crafts are a bit low. Yeah, they've done a bit of hauling, they've done a bit of shopping, and, you know, if it comes down to it, there'll be meat shields. Hopefully not, but... Ah, what other things can I uh, remember what I've done? Oh yes, I've upgraded these to security barriers. Those are now over there. I still need to do something out here, but... At least we've got some firing spots. It's just waiting on this damn research. I mean, oh, I can actually stop building auto cleaners. Excellent. I might get another one of those. Then we've got some um, ammo crates. That'd be quite handy. The ballistic goggles. What else does that give me? Recon armor. I've just finished making a bunch of lever armor for people. Oh my god, yeah, that... I feel like I've wasted my time now. But that's middle and outer. The lever arm is just middle. We've got very nice fancy armour. Fabrication goes there. Oh yes. That was a thing I was supposed to research. Hmm. Not the props, thank you. It would be trench warfare. That gives me access to things like barbed wire and the decoys. And the um, heavy machine gun. That would be quite cool. I do like the idea of the decoys. Um, the barbed wire especially. Artillery could be funny because it can shoot things on the map. That is absolutely ridiculous. Sentry guns. I could really do with those. Perhaps they're different to most of sentry guns. I don't know. but Specialised firearms. Hmm. I don't really need any of the power stuff. I think I overdid it at the start by giving, granting myself all that power. But I did just want to uh, get on with that. Oh, like holographic art. Nice. Medicine. I was talking about it earlier. We need medicine. Is it drug production? Yeah, it'll be drug production then. So, that's the brief update of what's going on so far, and I'll catch you up in a little bit. When did this happen? <laughs> well, damn it. Um, I think that's gotten too big for me to actually do anything about at this point. Uh, let's expand the home area a little bit more. But yeah, I... Damn it. I wonder if I can try regrowing the grass there. Uh, <laughs> it must have happened during the flash storm. What, is there any more great fires happening? No. I'd better get back to reviewing what I'm doing with this. Mostly making a small embrasure and safe point there. Just walling this off so stray fire doesn't hit this. I've been trying to think. I, it's not really a kill box or anything, but it things tend to land here, so I'm leaving this kind of open, and if I leave these where they are, I can use them as cover, and anyone getting into this area can't really use them against cover against the top and bottom. Uh, I should put a door here, actually. It doesn't really need to be a strong door. Should at least be a steel door. Is that something about a trader as well? Yeah, I've just turned down a quest for a paid heat wave. I'm not dealing with that. I hate heat waves. It is one of the things that can really mess me up. Oh, a tamer. 
All right, fair enough. Nothing really important. Just please don't die while you're here. That would be really awkward. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to hunt a handful of muffalo, and whilst Nabs did fine, Karen here accidentally triggered the horde. Oh, oh good. They got the uh, door sorted. It looks like I have far more muffalo meat than in uh, initial... What are you doing? Idiots. I can actually get to see people use their new weapons now, though. Oh, that's very accurate for that heavy machine gun. I made a good choice with you. Speaking of which, gear. I love your military barrier. What does it give you? Shooting accuracy. Oh, so it basically does the same thing as the uh, some sombrero. Oh, well, that could have gone badly, but it didn't. Alas, it does. All right, are you all bleeding out? Dead. Bleeding out. Dead. Bleeding out. Ugh. Bugger. One, two, three, four, five, six. I may have enough room. Also, we have another little baby hamster. It's another male. Ah, that's fine. And we did have a new alpaca, but uh, that's that's been cold. Or I think I called it. Let's have a look. Yes, I called the old alpaca. Food is not an issue, however. Space for the food is. Hmm. And now, I should actually look into a few things. Simple desserts. Okay. What do I need for, say, fine dessert? Okay. Lavish dessert? No more simple desserts. Oh, I want that one. Mm. Convent chocolate. Okay. Sugar is a condiment. Okay, that's very handy. Animal products, yeah, use whatever you can get a hold of. I'd rather you not use my grapes. Yeah, don't use grapes, don't use that, but you're welcome to use all the berries you can get a hold of. Until you have... Ten. Wait. <laughs> Pause and satisfied. Unpause at five. That'll do. And we'll suspend that for now. Until my fridge here has actually run out of food. I think the fridge can only store one thing at a time. That should do it. And now I just need some people to actually lug some tea over here. Right. That was soda. That was tea. Oh, my soda machine's made. Um, I need to make syrups. How do I make syrups? I've got so many things to try out. Make fruit juice. Okay. Interesting. Uh, soda syrup. Natural fruit juice with sugar. Sugar, sorry. 20 juice times 4 sugar. And the soda syrup is corn. Oh, I've got so many layers to do. Alright, fruit juice. Hope that it'll stack in 25 actually, so making that 
75. What does it need? Oh god. I don't have enough anything for that. Okay, and then don't waste it. This is probably a load of nonsense, and I'm definitely going to have to stop growing more berries, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, that gives me a uh, new idea of what I should be doing with my growing, section, uh, growing spaces. have to be bear berries, does it? It just needs to be berries. Oh, the storage space issue is looking like it's going to get uh, be uh, get worse before it gets better. Am I going to have to make another backup freezer somewhere? Somewhere nearby here. I do have all this spare room here, but I'm kind of using it for mortars in the future. I'm... oh, damn it. Anyway, you can at least see I'm trying to improve my base defence. I put in the cloth sandbags just as a, something to slow them down. We're putting traps all the way along to stop meleeing. That'll follow all the way around here. That's going to get rid of. We're going to put another sandbag there. I could put traps on the bridge, but I don't particularly want to. I'm also repositioning all my chunks. So busy times, busy times.